We can't be sure of exactly what's being said. But whatever it is, it sounds aggressive. I'm sorry, but none of this is making any sense. It's a verbalized recording of the Sumerian language. Now we're talking about the oldest language in human history, for whatever reason, recorded in your room. What was happening? What was being done to me? What is unsettling is that um, whatever it is, the vocals, they don't sound... Um, Ordinary. Human. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop, stop, stop. Stop. <laughs> okay. Let's not fuel any more of these fires. Now, there's any number of reasons for the, for the distortion in the voice. Her voice sounded fine. The tape could have been recorded over, for one, and part of the old tape could still be heard. No, I don't recycle tapes. Maybe this time you did. And that still does not explain why... That voice is speaking a language that predates Egyptian hieroglyphics. Now, I studied the Sumerian civilization for most of my career, and what I have found is um, intriguing. You can go into any Sumerian exhibit and see what I'm about to tell you. Drawings of rockets that look like Apollo launching into the sky. Etchings and sculptures of men in spacesuits and what looked like oxygen masks. And this artwork was created in the fourth millennium BCE, 4,000 years before Christ walked the earth. Genesis, Noah's Ark, to name a few. Both of these stories existed in Soma 6,000 years before the Bible was written. Genesis came from the Sumerian epic of creation. Noah's Ark came from the Sumerian deluge. The alien god legend has its basis, its uh, origins in Sumerian history. You can find everything I've described in the museum right now. You know, it is one thing to... But as I said from the beginning, I draw no conclusions. I'm dealing in facts. Now, this is drawn from thousands of years of data research and collection. 